Hello friends, welcome to Loxio Tech YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the official installation of Windows 11 Lite IoT LTSC Edition from Microsoft. If you are looking for a lightweight, bloatware-free, and long-term security update version of Windows, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show how to download and install the LTSC version of Windows 11 24H2. Let's start. Windows LTSC means long-term service channel. It's a version of Windows with minimal Windows updates and maximum security. It only focuses on security updates and critical patches that help you run stably and securely. And the best part is it supports older PCs having minimum hardware. It only needs a one gigahertz processor, two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of hard disk space. These IoT LTSC editions are mostly used in industries like banking, restaurants, and healthcare sectors because of their stability and security. To install it, you need to register for a free trial. Just fill the form with the required details, then accept the terms and conditions and click the Download Now button. Once the registration is completed, you will be redirected to the Download page. Select the X64 or AMD64 version, which is used in most PCs or laptops. Please wait to finish the download process, which will take up to 30 minutes depending on your internet speed. After completing the download process, you need to create a bootable USB disk to install it. Download Rufus from its official website and install it. Then connect a pen drive with 8 or 16 gigabytes of free space. Select the device to the pen drive and also upload the downloaded IoT ISO file to Rufus. If you are using an older PC with a BIOS system, then choose MBR as the partition scheme. If you have a newer UEFI system, then use the GPT scheme. Finally, click Start. Now here you can see some options like removing some system requirements like TPM, Secure Boot, and bypassing Microsoft Online Account. It doesn't need any of these options to enable with the LTSC version since it doesn't have these system requirements. Click OK and it starts creating the bootable USB disk. It might take a couple of minutes to hours to complete it. Now our USB drive is ready to boot. Restart the system, go to the BIOS boot menu and boot from that USB drive. The setup process is just like the normal Windows 11 installation model. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process. It's finished. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to subscribe this channel for more tech and tutorials videos. Also make sure to hit the bell icon to get the future upload notifications. And leave a comment if you have any suggestions or doubts. Please share with your friends. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. See you in the next video.